Hello, so today I'm gonna show you uh, how to run um, a testing on the ice maker for a frigid air refrigerator. <clears throat> this one's a side-by-side, -side, but um, the three-door frigid air is um, pretty much the same thing. Uh, frigid air gallery. This one is a, uh, um, a a 2019 model it was manufactured July of 2019 that's the model and serial number of this one um, but pretty much it's gonna test the ice makers the same um, on most of the models and the way you're gonna get it into the test mode is by pressing the um, fresh food plus and freezer up keys at the same time for 10 seconds simultaneously so try that okay so there we are in test mode um, basically just three tests that we're gonna concentrate on we're gonna um, start off with the first test which is test number 52 <clears throat> and that's telling you what the actual thermistor on the ice maker is sensing um, So this this fridge is warm. I just plugged it in a few minutes ago um, So the ice maker thermistor is sensing 49 degrees as you can see there It's kind of hard to It's not really focused well on that LED, but you see on the right it's 52 So that's test 52 and on the left it says 49 so that's the um temperature that the thermistor is sensing so basically that's that thermistor is on the bottom of the ice maker which is going to be this wire right here it senses the temperature on the bottom of the ice maker so when that fills with water once that gets down to about 10 degrees or so it's going to know that the ice is frozen in there and it'll allow it to cycle and uh, drop the cubes and refill with water to, to run through the process again so basically, if your refrigerator is zero degrees and you do a thermistor test on here and you're reading 49 degrees, you know that your ice maker thermistor is bad. And at that point, just change the ice maker. Um, so we're going to cycle through this. Um, there's only three tests here I'm going to show you. Um, so you just use the, um, the Fresh Food Plus to uh, advance to the next test. So that's gonna be test number 55, which that'll activate your water valve to fill water into the ice maker. Um, before we do that though, you always should probably do test 58. Um, if you have ice in your ice maker, um, you wanna eject those cubes out of there before you fill it with water, otherwise you'll have water spilling all over. So um, test 58. Um, activates automatically you can see the ice maker running through its cycle if there was cubes in there they would have fallen the arm drops down ice maker twists at this point the cubes would have ejected out of there and then it goes back to its home position so now we can go back to 55 so there's 55, make sure your ice maker gets back to its resting position from the previous test. Okay, that's horizontal, that's where that should be. So now when you press set, it'll activate the water valve. So you can hear the water valve humming, so that at this point would be filling with water to the ice maker and so that's it those are the three tests to test your ice maker um, if you do those three you should be able to um, diagnose that ice maker pretty pretty readily so that's it bye for now